Do you have advice for young people today, aside from playing lots of video games? <laughs> uh, you know, high schoolers, college students, thinking about their career, thinking about life. Well, we no longer live in a world where you get one skill set, you do it for 40 years and retire. I mean, that, that ship has sailed a long time ago. So learn how to learn and learn an appreciation and love for learning. So that's the first thing. Uh, you know, Josh Waitzkins wrote this beautiful book, The Art of Learning, if you ever read it. Yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, so good study skills, you know, slip box notes, these things. What was it? Um, Zettel Kasten or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of little techniques that you can pick up along the way. And basically they teach you how to process lots of information very quickly, retain it, and then decide what's useful to you for that moment. The second thing is do not undervalue EQ, emotional intelligence. We, we've lived for a long time in a society where IQ was dominant. It's like how smart you are excuses everything else. You could be a horrible human being, but oh, he's a really bright guy, right? The asshole mathematician or physicist. We now live in a world where the balance is far more important. You have to be smart, but you also have to be a nice guy. And don't undervalue that. So learn things like closed circuit communication and active listening. These skill sets will always pay enormous dividends along the way. Uh, third, remember that you're judged for the things that you have and what you do with those things. You know, if you have very little, you still have to do something. When you have a lot, you have to do even more. So learn how to give and do that early on. Learn how to give back, volunteerism, charity, mentoring, these types of things. Those are so incredibly valuable to a person's development. The people that you mentored, in the academic world, you learn this, you have graduate students. They one day will be professors. And it might just so happen they might eclipse you. Remember, Gauss had a doctoral advisor. <laughs> Never forget that. Uh, you know, and, and so did Feynman. Make sure that you mentor people, you give back, and you learn how to learn, and you learn how to teach. Super important for your development as a person. Now, you'll notice all those things are agnostic to whatever domain you happen to have chosen. You could be in medicine or law or technology, whatever. That's your fancy, whatever your passion happens to be. And don't conflate your earning in your career. If people try to keep putting these things together, they're increasingly becoming decoupled. There's a lot of cases where people do their passions and they do it for free or you know for sustenance, but then they have something else they do on the side to also augment or supplement their income. It's probably best that way. When you conflate the two, you tend to get burnt out terribly. You see this a lot with musicians or other people. You know, they just they want to make music, but they have to tour or whatever because they got to pay bills. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that happens. Uh, other than that, I mean, I I'm not a guru. I'm not in any particular position. To... You showed up in a robe, which I thought was kind of weird, and you had you had a crown, and you kept calling yourself king. <laughs> king of the rats. <laughs> and that wasn't a robe. That was a yukata. Okay, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Wait, audience, he's joking. <laughs> Reddit. <laughs> I heard somebody's going to write blog posts. <laughs> Charles Hoskinson walks walks around with a crown. 